Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And we last we left off, we found a speakeasy with a foosball table that doesn't work, a spoon that we can't take, stinky drinks we can't drink, and somebody that we can't make happier so that we can turn the light switch on. There are lots of puzzles here that we can't solve at present, or maybe not, because we haven't tried using our inventory items on Peter or the barkeep. Let's start by using them on Peter, beginning with Harvey. What do you think of this guy, Harvey? Seems to be an exceptionally dull dweeb. He's just very unhappy right now. Hopefully, we can find a way to cheer him up. Shall I put you out of your misery? What misery do you mean, exactly? Well, the face, this woebegone appearance, the lack of purpose. The whole totality of the superfluous Peter existence is what I mean. I'll get back to you on that. You're really not helping, Edna. Not even a little. Do you want that in print? Do I want what in print? Your life is in shambles. Crashed and burned like the Hindenburg. Thank you for the imagery. It's quite fitting. You're really not helping, Edna. Will a comic book help? Every time Captain Useless eats kryptonite, he suffers from depression for days afterwards. Why is he eating kryptonite to begin with? These pot holders remind me of you, Peter. They do? It's more the pot part than the holder part, though. But yes, your appearance is somewhat pot holder like I don't know if that was intended as a compliment or not. Would you like some mustard? Some mustard with your self-pity? Why? There's nothing to relish. Oh, I like that joke, Peter. Well played. Some ketchup with your self-pity? Why? There's nothing to relish. And it was even better the second time round. Police badge time. Routine inspection of disposition. Will you please sigh into this tube? <sighs> As I suspected, nothing but misery. Wait, we have a tube? Why isn't that in our inventory? We may never know. Let's use the, uh, cup now, shall we? Wow, look at this! What is it? The cup. It's not half full. It's not half empty. It is empty. Completely and utterly empty. Makes you think, doesn't it? Hmm. It does, but that doesn't make him feel any better. Hopefully something here that we have will make him feel better. Do you want my pot? What for? My entire life is on the back burner already. I gotta give it to Peter, he's really good with the witty retorts. Key? What does his key remind you of? I don't know. What should it remind me of? Well, all the things you'll never have access to. A good life, for instance. Friends. The feeling of being loved and cherished. And... Last but not least, hope for a better future. Yes, you're right. Now I can see it too. Edna, stop! You're being mean. Life is like a soup that should be eaten with a large spoon. But all you have, Peter, is a fork. Will we get a similar kind of reaction if we use the knife? Do you want this blunt butter knife? At least until I found a rope or a samurai sword. You keep it. I'm not in a hurry. This negative attitude of yours is exactly the reason your life is so useless. I get the feeling the rest of our inventory items are going to be about as effective as all the other ones we've used, but we still have a few more to try. Let's start with the signature. I can forge Dr. Marcel's signature. Will you attest that I'm a lost cause? You wish. <sighs> That one didn't work. What about the signed form? This might work. I have a registration for therapy. You look like you could use it desperately. What gave me away? The black clouds over my head? On the other hand, let's be honest, you're a lost cause. That doesn't mean he shouldn't try. Picking shears? Do you want my scissors? At least until I found a rope or a samurai sword. You can keep them. I'm not in a hurry. This negative attitude... No different reaction there? What about the cocktail menu? Would you like another drink? I've still got one. Thank you. My glass has been half empty for hours now. 
If you have the ability to magically keep that drink from not emptying despite drinking it, that is a significantly powerful superpower. Do you see this toenail? Once, it was living tissue. Then, it outlasted its usefulness and was expelled. Finally, it became a case for the bathroom trash bin. Does this toenail remind you of someone? This is you, Peter. I'm gonna leave before we upset Peter further. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm going to use items on the barkeep. What do you make of this guy, Harvey? I'm trying to figure out where he's looking. Considering that space is curved around mass, it's possible that he's looking at a point behind the Horsehead Nebula. And considering his expression, someone must have painted the horse green. He does look rather surprised now that I look at him more closely. Does he want a polo mallet? I better not do that. He already looks like he's about to blow his top. Probably sensible. Pen? Can you add something to the menu for me? That's not the way things work around here, honey. You either order something that's on the menu, or you find yourself another bar. I don't think we're gonna find another bar, but we did add a lot of things to the menu. Comic book? Captain Useless never drinks while on duty. On the other hand, he's very rarely on duty. To be blatantly honest, he's jobless and lives on welfare. We are learning the truths of a life of Captain Useless. Potholder? Do you want my potholders? No thanks. Union rules dictate that I have to use greasy towels. So that's why they do that in all the shows. Union rules, it makes so much sense when you think about it. Do you need any more mustard? I've got plenty, thanks. How do you think I get the lower layer of my cherry banana smoothie so yellow? Yeah. Ketchup? Do you need some more ketchup? I've got plenty, thanks. How do you think I get the upper layer of my cherry banana smoothie so red? I'm starting to wonder if the cherry banana smoothie is actually entirely made of ketchup and mustard. May I see your liquor license? Of course! I always keep it in a safe place. Right next to the arm of the last cop who asked me for it. It's not that important anymore. Nice guy, that cop. But a bit careless with his arms. How can one be careless with their arms to the point that they lose them? Now there's a question. I'm gonna try using the cup here. This could be a mistake. Do you want this filthy water cup? Hmm, it is filthy, but it still isn't one of mine. You can keep it. Oh, phew. A reaction where I didn't lose the cup. Do you need a pot? That's supposed to be a pot. That thing behind me, that is a pot. That barrel over there, with a shovel sticking out? That's not a shovel, that's a spoon! Hmm, a spoon, you say? And that's the game giving you the hint that we need that spoon. Would you like a key? Do you have any idea what kind of key this could be? It could be the key to Dr. Marcel's hidden room. I wonder what he gets up to in there. Another person telling us that this key is very important. Fork? Do you need a fork? Definitely not. I'm managing a bar. I'm serving drinks here. And a fork just doesn't help people drink. I have a question. If you're running a bar, what are people paying you in? It's not like money's useful. Do you need a knife? Not in this life, I don't. I've already sliced up a million lemons. But won't they spoil? Turn green? Yes. Spoil? No. If you shave them every now and then, you can use them for years to come. Ugh. Let's use the signature on the barkeeper. And I didn't mean to have Edna move so close to the screen. She stares through you, in you, seeing all of your flaws and weaknesses. She knows all. Let's get her back over to here. We have a signature to show off after all. I can forge Dr. Marcel's signature. Good for him. He's finally got someone to sign his books for him. He's written a book? It's titled, Correction of Character, A Miracle Cure Against Rebellious Behavior. Oh, I didn't know he had a book. 
Let's give you the form. Maybe you should go to this therapy in my place. I'd love to, but they won't let me anymore. Does that mean you're cured? Not exactly. I ate the therapist's dog. Yummy doggy. I have several questions, and I'm not going to ask any of them, and instead offer you the pinking shears. Do you happen to need a pair of pinking shears? Not in this life, I don't. I've already sliced up a million lemons. But won't they turn if you sh We've heard that part. Time to give him a toenail. Do you need my toenail? I've got plenty, thanks. That's the main ingredient of my famous stinky drink, you know. I knew it. Edna knew it. We all knew it. Finally, let's use the menu. Barkeep, one drink, please. I'll be with you. But he already... Don't tell... We need to get Peter away if we're going to get any drinks, so it's time to move in here. Is that what I think it is? It's another cup. Can we get another cup, folks? Can we have two? Someone has scribbled Beware of Frank on it. Strange. And that's the second time we've seen Miss Warning. The coffee. Don't you understand? The coffee. If that's a reference, I don't get it. With what? Well, with everything. With nothing. It's a coffee cup. It has unlimited uses, as we've seen already, with the cup that we already have. Can we take it? We can take it! Aha! We have two cups now! Tremble before me and despair. Time to start using it on things. Harvey? Look, Harvey. Someone wrote, Beware of Frank on the cup in mirror writing. This really is a loony bin, said the ragdoll rabbit. Or maybe we actually need to beware of Frank. Metal note. Be wary of someone called Frank. Look at that! This mallet safety cap is too small. Now, we've had that dialogue, and I imagine we're going to get a lot of very similar dialogue if we keep using our items on this cup. Do we get something different if we use the badge? No, thanks. I no, we don't. So, really, the only thing we can do is try and doodle on it. Ooh, there's already something written there. Beware of Frank in mirrored writing. Hmm, that's strange. So we can't add to that, but can we put ketchup in here? I prefer drinking my ketchup directly out of the bottle. Fair enough. What about the mustard? I prefer drinking my mustard directly from the bottle. I still like that there's different dialogue for that. I knew there would be. It's always nice to hear. Let's use the cup on the cup. Cupception! One is filthy, and the other one says, Beware of Frank. Other than that, they're almost identical. There are many things that separate them, like one of them actually being structurally sound. We have a chair, an ashtray, and a chute and a coin slot. Oh, we're going to need a coin, aren't we? We're going to need a coin if we want some coffee. So let's see if we can find a coin. Maybe there's a coin in the ashtray. But first, there's a chair to look at. Isn't that... Yes, it's a chair! Hooray! Let's talk to the chair. Seat. Sit. Good chair. Such a good chair. I'd rather not. The fluid in my kneecaps tends to clot quickly when I sit down. Fair enough. Let's take it. Nah, it looks like a thousand undergrads have vomited on it. Ugh. Let's get a second opinion. Harvey? What do you make of this, Harvey? I think it is a horse. You think? Just count the... We've had that before. Anything new? Well, we could probably draw on it. That we can. And I bet we can write this signature on it too? Yes, we can. What about ketchup? No, thank you. I prefer to eat... Can't do that. What about the fork? No, thank you. Fair enough. We probably can't do too much else with this, because it's a chair and it probably shares all the same uh, dialogue stuff that the other chairs do. Can we use this cup on it? No, thank you. I prefer to drink standing up. Ooh, new dialogue. And I imagine if we uh, use the paper cup here, we're going to lose it. So, we're going to save. 
I'm a bit sad that I'm saving over that file, but I'm sure we'll find a way to get back there. And if we have the crayons, we could use the crayons on everything and make the room even worse. But first, can we lose the cup here? Hmm, I guess no one will notice if I just put it down here. And there it is! And now it's gone. Time to get it back, folks. We have another place that we can lose the cup in. So many places, and so many more rooms for us to look in here. Not here specifically, but in this general area. Let's look at the ashtray. This is supposed to be an ashtray? Looks more like a belly trainer for constrictor snakes. That's a very specific description there, Edna. How pathetic. Let's use it. I'll start smoking after I've escaped, I promise. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. A bit bulky, don't you think? That's not stopped us from taking all sorts of other things, like a polo mallet. Harvey? Whoa! The smell of cold cigarette butts! Have you started smoking again, Harvey? No, I just gave up lying. Interesting answer. Polo mallet? I know! Let's take the mallet and... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. That's what you think will find something. I can't scribble on that. You're just not trying hard enough, Edna. Comic book? Captain Useless has the astonishing ability to quit smoking three times a day. An interesting ability you have there. What about the potholder? I know! All we have to do is set up the potholders vertically and... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Harvey will figure out something, Edna. And when he does, you'll have to concede that you were wrong. I know! Mustard! If we put some mustard in the ashtray and... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Maybe the mustard isn't the right idea, but the ketchup? The ketchup's totally gonna be the right idea, right? Let's do it. Let's try. I know! With a dab of ketchup, we could... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Edna, you know that we have lots more inventory items we can try. We'll find one that works. I know! Do we have a fake mustache? If so, we could simply... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Okay, maybe the badge didn't work. What about the cup? I know! Finally, the water cup is of use! All we have to do now is... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. What do you mean, finally, Harvey? This thing's always been useful. We've been hiding it behind loads of things. Isn't that useful? It's not. Oh. We'll find a use for it at some point. I'm sure of it. I know! Hand me the pot, but be careful. The ashtray isn't supposed to see that. Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. We're running out of inventory items, but we're not out of them yet. I know! It's a revelation! Hold on to your pants for this one! The old key! We just have to... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Okay, the key didn't work. But the fork! The fork is the key to everything! Actually, the key was the key to everything, but the fork will be the solution! It will be. If that is, the inventory system will actually let me use the fork. Stop fighting me, inventory system! We're going to try this. I know! Teeth, teeth, teeth! That's it! Fork! Fork and... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. I think Harvey is really pulling at straws now, but we still have more things to try. I know! We'll use the knife! Brute force! And... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. If you haven't figured out by now that it has no other function than to stub out cigarettes in it, you haven't been listening to any of the last 15 exchanges or so, but it's okay. This one will surely reiterate it for you. I can't scribble on that. Or it won't! Well, the game picked a good time to have one where it didn't say that. Well played, game. Well played. I know! The paper! The paper! The paper! Give it up, buddy. 
it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. We have a few more things to try. The pinking shears. We're counting on you. I know! The pinking shears and the right magic spell and... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Wait, you have magic, Harvey? And you haven't been using it all this time? We could have been out of here so much faster. I know! Get out the toenail, Edna! We'll try the following. Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. What about the cup that we just picked up? And it's a good thing we can't interact with the coffee on the floor. I know! Three words! Cup, Madagascar, and... Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. But what was the third word, Harvey? What was the third word? I know, my god, I know! The cocktail menu! Quick! Give it up, buddy. This ashtray has no other function than stubbing out cigarettes in it. Well, I hope you learned something there, folks. We learned that we can't do anything with the ashtray. But hey, it was worth a try. And so, when we come back, folks, we're gonna look at this machine here that I'm sure we can use to get coffee. The only problem is we don't have a coin with which to get the coffee. Maybe there's a coin in the lounge? I hope there's a coin in the lounge. Also, this is a lot of areas that the inmates can access. It doesn't look like there's a camera in here. Curious. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Also, is there a lizard wallpaper motif over there? I think there is. Why didn't I notice that until now? Hmm. Later. <laughs>